When you wake up in the morning, you never think you're gonna end up at the White House. Hey, it's Tommy from Mix 107.3. We're really here. We're in the East Room of the White House. Everyone's getting ready for President Obama to come out and do his first online town hall. He submitted questions at whitehouse.gov and now he's going to answer them. Right. Pretty cool. The White House is open for questions. I promise to open up the White House to the American people. This event, which is being streamed live over the internet, marks an important step towards achieving that goal. As I said, the teacher is the most important person in the education system. So uh, if we don't have teacher buy-in, if they're not enthusiastic about the reforms that we're initiating, then ultimately they're not going to work. I don't think that we've lost all the jobs we're going to lose in this recession. Mm -hmm. We're still going to be uh, in a difficult time for much of this year. Mr. President, I'm Valerie, <laughs> I'm Kristen, and I'm Mallory. We are all sophomores at Kent State University in Ohio. We really like the emphasis you put on education so far in your administration, but we're concerned about higher education. Our question is, what proposals do you have to make college more affordable and to make each student loans easier to get? Right now, a lot of the student loan programs uh, run through banks. But a lot of them go directly to students from the government, the so-called direct loans. The banks make several billion dollars worth of profits off managing these student loans, which would be okay, except for the fact that these loans are guaranteed by the federal government. <laughs> just to interrupt, uh, Jared, before you ask the next question, just to say that you know, we, uh, we, took, uh, we took votes about which questions were going to be asked. And I think 3 million people voted, or 3.5 million people voted. I have to say that there was one question that was voted on that, that ranked fairly high. Uh, and that was whether legalizing marijuana would improve uh, the economy <laughs> and job creation. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what this says about the online audience. <laughs> but but I, I just want, uh, I don't want people to think that uh, this was a fairly popular question. We want to make sure that it was answered. Uh, the answer is no, I don't think that is a good strategy to go on uh, 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 The homeless rate for veterans is multiple times higher than it is for non-veterans. That's an excuse. It means that we're going to provide services for post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, that we're going to provide services for traumatic brain injury, that are the signature injuries uh, of these recent wars. So, we are going to significantly increase veteran spending. We have a school system that was designed for the agricultural area. And there's a reason why we got three months off during the summer. That's supposed to be when everybody's working on out the farm and bringing in harvest. Uh, and it's not just the amount of time our kids are spending, it's how our classrooms are designed, uh, how curriculums are structured, uh, how things like teacher promotion and training happen. Thanks for paying attention, and we need you guys to keep paying attention and not to be able to Thank you very much.